Hi guys and welcome back to Shogun 2. As you can see, I almost, in the last episode, I nearly defeated the rebels. Cocks. Um, but, whilst I'm at it... Troops can be stationed inside a castle town to defend it in the event of an attack. This panel shows you information. A daimyo does not have loyalty to the clan he leads. An ungarrisoned castle town automatically generates units of samurai retainers and women to defend it if attacked. Although not as effective during a battle as regular troops, and unable to leave the castle town in which they were spawned, they are well able to manage day-to-day -day public order problems. Right, so... At the moment, we are just uh, playing fun. Um, also, I'm just going to quickly change something because this isn't fitting properly. So, if my screen goes all weird, right, and starts destroying me. Right, so. My plan is my coastal village that can be done. You recruitment. Right. So yeah, at the moment there's not much I can do, but So. There are many new arts to be mastered that will... This panel enables selection of the arts that, when mastered, will give us an advantage over our rivals. To begin, simply select the item you wish to master. There are no buildings required in order to do this, although there are some buildings that require mastery of certain arts before they can be constructed. Mouse over an art for a short description, details of effects, and the length of time needed to master it. Further details are available in the encyclopedia accessed via the question mark button in the top right hand corner of the panel. Tokugawa clan was taken from us. You can bug off. Right. Yet again. Can't really do much. Um. The moment is just a case of keeping. head above water um right. so you're gonna be a cunt. when viewing user interface panels you will notice a question mark button in their top right hand corners this is the help button this tab shows all existing buildings in the selected castle town and surrounding province. Mouse over them to see what can yet be constructed. Oh, shut up. So... Right click to move our army to any part of the highlighted area. We can attack by right-clicking on the rival's army or castle town. Merge with a friendly army by moving to the same spot. Hmm. Board a fleet at a coast by right-clicking to move on to it. Hmm. 
Can we get? There are three ways to move an army from a castle town onto the landscape. In order to move the entire force, select the castle town and right-click on the point you wish. Ports do not just facilitate trade income. They also enable the construction of naval vessels. Note that ships can also be ordered directly from fleets if commanded by a general. So by the looks of it, the rebels basically destroyed themselves. No, they didn't. Entering into diplomacy, each general has a loyalty rating that is used to determine his likeliness to be bribed leave our clan and defect to another. Loyalty is influenced by factors such as the daimyo's honor, glorious victories in battle, marriage within the clan, being made heir to the clan leadership, the acquisition of character traits and skills, the choices made during dilemmas, and whether a general is made a commissioner or neglected within the clan. If their loyalty gets too low... We've had war declared on us. By the looks of that. So... I feel like I'm chasing the ghost. Right now. The clan's family tree, details of the daimyo's heir, and the offices of his commissioners are displayed via the clan management panel, accessed via the dedicated button in the bottom right hand corner of the screen. Right, so. Looking at this, look my army. At the moment, I am. Buildings that have been damaged due to sabotage or battle can be rebuilt. To repair a building, select it and click on the rebuild button to the left of the review panel. Right. If I am currently in a drought. But... The rebels will be taken out. Seriously. Skilled swordsman with excellent. Right. If there are problems maintaining public order within a province, it is possible to suspend taxation until the population has settled down or there is a large enough garrison in place to restore order through repression. Clan. No, the other clan. Alright, I'm gonna keep it as it is now. Units can be recruited directly by a general in the field. I want him to stop moving. Making a trade agreement with another clan automatically opens a sea trade route between us. 
Our roots are displayed yellow. Those of neutral clans are white. And those belonging to enemies are red. So those trade you. routes that are shared with an enemy clan are yellow. Make a trade agreement by entering into diplomacy. I'm right behind them. And what that's what annoys me. But <clears throat> in order to construct a proposal. Select a clan from the central section and then diplomatic options from the left hand side of the screen. The proposal? This option is used to broker military alliances. This allows military access is a symbol of trust between two clans and can be granted for a limited or indefinite time using the checkboxes provided. Requests for access between allied clans are more likely to be approved. And so, we have an agreement. When friendship and statecraft meet, how could it... Thank you. Meetings with friends are... You are now my friend. But... Whilst we are on about friends, I have an enemy. Um, and wait, can I? Trade ship, trade ship. And a boom, two booms. Yep. So. Whilst that happens, I'm going to make sure that everything will be uh, satisfactory. Hopefully, oh, for Pete's sake. But you've made yourself a Ports, farms, and speciality buildings are positioned Dick. away from the castle town. So but careful strategic planning and garrisoning is required in order. If a general <laughs> is killed in battle whilst units this is or ships are routing, they will become shattered, meaning that it will bothered. not be possible for them to rally from then on. Any no units or ships that route that following a general's death will automatically become shattered, and even the presence of a more junior general cannot prevent this. So armies or fleets field you I know there is a way but this piece cannot move any further now. It will be available again next season. Yeah we know. So, whilst that's done, I should have my fertile soils back, but no, I don't want that. What I wanted to do was, right, um, I was going to do something. I want to make that into a sarcade then. That's just to get some money in. Um, so how do I... Uh, for pity's sake. I'm actually going to upgrade you.
This province is becoming poorer and poorer. We must reduce the tax burden here, Master, lest the peasants starve. See, the fact is... I will be back shortly, so don't worry. 